All right, first things first. You guys know how bad I want to play the new Nintendo Wii Marios for the new Wii U? Pretty bad. All right, guys. So uh, in the last 22 videos, we dealt with jQuery methods that deal with CSS, fading, transition, sliding, custom animation. I want to show you guys some methods that deal with setting content, as in changing or implementing new or old content. So for this jQuery method, we'll deal with text. We're going to go ahead and set some content. So let's use some recycled code from our last video. So let's look down here and take the break tags out. We will create some paragraph text. We'll go, we'll just give this the paragraph text. This should work. Or we could use this band, didn't really matter. And should we keep the button? We'll keep it, but I don't want to use it. Let's go back to, let's go back to hover. Let me look at this, if this makes sense. No, we should go ahead and copy this, paste it, and we'll give this, either give your paragraph text to class or change it to span or give it a paragraph ID, live your life, it's all good with me. And paragraph click, let's look at this. Let's get rid of our click. I don't wanna have too many clicks. Go back to hover. And let's get rid of all this jazz right here. And for this jQuery method, we're gonna use text like we talked about. And we'll go ahead and type text, dot text, just concatenate it on and in here. We'll say, boo. Let's go ahead and close that out with a semicolon. Okay, let's look at this really quick. We hover over, this should work. Our paragraph text should change from this should work. No, let's give this to release the hounds. No, but the button's already says release the hounds. We'll say this is um, hook is the best movie of all time. Okay, so let's open this up in Safari. You could put Beetlejuice there too. It's cool with me. Beetlejuice is the best movie of all time. Safari. So when we roll over our paragraph text, our span text should change to boo. So let's go ahead and roll over it. Boo. Just like that. All right. Perfect. So that's what we did. We created. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a, a break tag. I don't like this button. Just like that. Give it another break. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too much going on in this video. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of kind of a lot of dead weight in here. Dead time. I know how busy you guys are. This should work. Hover over that, but it's not like uh, it's not like text toggle. We can't just keep hovering over it for it to come back. Release the hounds. So we already have this release the hounds button here. Might as well use it to change this back to hook is the best movie of all time. So let's go back here, and real simple, we'll just go ahead and copy this code, just like that, and we'll drop it down right here, paste it in like that, and instead of our paragraph text, we'll use button. And we can use hover, but since we're using a button, it's only it's not only fair, but it, it seems appropriate that we click on our button. So let's go ahead and reload this. Hook is the best movie of all time. Scroll over, this should work. There it is. Release the hound, should come back. Didn't come back. Why didn't it come back? Because... Oh, because we gotta change this, we'll say, I'm back. We'll save it just like that. Let's reload it. This should work. Boo. Release the hounds. I'm back. All right, guys. We have a. Uh, we're dealing with uh, uh, setting content. There's actually a couple more methods, or yeah, methods that I want to talk about that deal with uh, setting content or implementing content or deleting content. And for this example, obviously, we used our text. So hopefully, this made sense, guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time following along. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.